Okay, hello guys, how you doing? I'm gonna introduce myself to you guys. My name is Faris Aitani. I am the storyteller of this piece of art and also for that other one. This is called In Blue by Alicia. She's from Poland. She's doing this piece of art because she wanna do a mix between the imagination and reality uh, by using the mirror and also by using the tree and also the nature. Sometimes when you look uh, at like this reflection, you see the tree. You guys, my name is Paris I and this is how you up this piece of art. It's called one of the Willow's Lane. The Willow's people lived here 4,000 years ago. We called them a Nabatayon. This piece of art is end. like the cemetery of them. When someone dies in this culture, they put the body and something like that. We take this design from the Hajar, Hajar town, which is a town for the Nabatayon people. And as you know, this piece of art, uh, if you go to the Hajar, you cannot touch the cemetery or the town or something like that. But here, it's so different because you will love the experience by sitting beside it, by touching it and also you feel the, about the art I'm gonna ask you guys, what do you think about the material? or what's the first impression when you saw it? Brick? Wood It looks like wood Sandstone Sandstone, yeah looks, Yeah, it looks like uh, wood <laughs> like, like wood mm -hmm. Where is the material? From here, local stone. Sandstone. 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 Yeah. Like a brick stone. The color is the same with the wood. So different. So you hear the echo. Echo. Yeah. Echo. Yeah. Echo. 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 Echo.
Yeah, so the front because uh, I'm a brown. Good luck, Archie. So, uh, so this art piece is by the Emirati artist Zainab Al Hashimi. And she loves working with geometric shapes. So, from the geometric shapes, she created these uh, rock resembling sculptures out of aluminum and she covered them with camel skin. Mm. She chose camels because camels are the kind of animals that tend to uh, camouflage itself within the environment that it comes from and uh, it hides within the environment. So uh, she chose different uh, breeds to showcase different environments uh, that the camels come from. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys can touch it if you want. Yeah. Don't push it. Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> if it cracks, dinosaur comes out. <laughs> There's a dinosaur over there. Yeah. There's a dinosaur. Oh, not how good the comments. It's a video. Oh, that's true. Sayang skin gear. Sigurado ka dyan sa sinasabi mong kan, Michael. Okay, welcome. Uh, how are you all? How is your turn, so long? Good. Good. Nice to hear that, okay. Uh, first of all, my name is Sayang. Uh, again, this artwork name is Dao Sun and the Bright Wave, made by the Swiss artist Claudia Comiti. Uh, as you can see, it's all about paths in the nature and how the wind algorithm is creating constantly the paths of the nature on the sand. And as you can see, uh, when you are far from it, you see it as a one piece, one life. Unlike when you come closer and close, you see it much different and change with you. You see this wave move with you. And that's kind of pollution. Yes. And the nature of paths are creating constantly. And Claudia wanted to save these patterns as an infinite and immortal. Pag sa malayo siyang tingnan, mukha siyang isa lang. Uh -oh. Parang isa lang siyang, ano? Isa lang siyang platform? Oo. Uh -oh. Flat platform. 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 Uh -oh. Napagod na siya. 
Nagbabuhat na ang baby! Brap! <laughs> It's so hot! Hi, I am Ziad from Hacker Fan Team. Nice to meet you all. Uh, this is our first time. I have seen thousands of stars and one fellow Nahula by Shadia Alam. She's a Saudi artist. Uh, Shadia came one night by thousands of stars. One of these stars was a daring star. One to fill Nahula as, as a part of this nature. That's what uh, one to fill uh, as a star. Shadia make that uh, dream to reality by placing this album inspired by origami and the the reflection here is a little bit green that represents the nature in general and we can say the reflection of the sky and the sun go Uh, and uh, she exactly chose the South because the South in our culture as an Arab is a very important thing uh, guide us to the directions in the middle of the desert. We know the time by the stars. Uh, Shadia also has a lot of Oh, it's here. Okay, if you have any questions, guys. Now you get the picture if you have any questions. From the back, it looks like a spaceship. Oh, no, that's a question. Uh, Story, <laughs> not a store. Uh, this is called Under the Sun Sun from Stephen Dahmer. She is a Canadian artist. Here we have five plants from the Sacramento. It's a natural plant. They grow up to the Venus, take the energy from the sun, and transfer it to the machine here. The machine gives the light to the projector. And the projector gives us the light. The light helps the plants to grow. And we have camera light. You can see what's on the top side. It's a reflection. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a oh, it's a reflection. And she has to blend the ball. Mm. The sun is on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo siya pag dito hindi mo siya kita oh. Pero pag ano. Hindi pa kami dito na makita. Hindi pa masaya. Ayun na. Ayun niya ah. Dito. Ang galing dito dito tingnan. Pag nandun ka hindi mo siya tanang. They're from here. Diba yan hindi mo siya kita. Pero if you. Ayun. Pumunta ka dito sa dito. Pumunta ka dito sa dito. Pumunta ka dito sa dito. Since we took our time with a lot of like, we're not gonna finish all 15. We're just gonna go to our last one and then head for lunch. Really? Just as a baba, all the problems are done. Are you guys enjoying the first act? Yes. yes. Uh, that's awesome. Alright, so first of all, my name is Wudan and I'm the happy end of this piece. Would you like to know a little bit about this piece? Yes, yeah. please. Alright, so this piece is called Desert Kite and it's by a Saudi artist. His name is Sultan bin Fahad. Uh, so this piece is basically an ancient animal trap. Uh, these animal traps were found a lot in this region along with other regions of Saudi. Uh, usually, they used to be built with bricks. However, the artist really wanted to honor Al Ala, and so he built it with mud and palm leaves, just like the old mud houses. If you've been to the old town, you see that, yes. Uh, and so, back to the animal trap idea. Uh, these creatures would be roaming the desert looking for food and water, uh, and they're gonna uh, come through these gates over here. And the first thing they notice is this. 
Now you're trapped. Now we are trapped. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, welcome to have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, have a seat. 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 I like it. <laughs> oh, let me in. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a break. Have a kick cut. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Water? Food? Mm, uh -uh. What? What? Symbolism. So he put sculptures inside this book crystal, which by the way, it's made of fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass coated as China material. And so we have the first sculpture here, which is the Medusa uh, snake. Uh, and then snake? to the right, we have the Sphinx. The Sphinx. 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 Thank you, thank you so much. Guys, uh, please pay at the counter. To <laughs> what?
This is so weird and so unnecessary Look how we both got real good burning bridges Yeah, we're both